Okay, let's continue with uh, with our second talk. So I have a great pleasure to introduce uh, De Chung Feng from the Chinese University of Hong Kong as our second speaker. And uh, his title is uh, Dimensions of uh, Protected uh, Sets and Measures on Typical self applied Sets. Please. Okay, uh, thank Sasha and uh, Auntie organized this uh, very nice event. Uh, it's my great pleasure to uh, speak here. Uh, in this talk, I would like to uh, present uh, my recent joint work with uh, my students, uh, Chiu Hongno and Tsai Yuma, about uh, the dimensions of uh, projected sets and meshes on typical surface fine sets. Um, our main target is to investigate various fractal dimensions of uh, general project, uh, pro projected sets and measures on typical self-affine sets and uh, the coding map. Just um, to say, we, we can still only see the title slide. Oh, uh, let me try again. Why? Uh, so can you see it now? Adjust the title slide, no full screen or anything. Oh, maybe I will share again, maybe. Um, so oh, yeah. we stop sharing and then share again. OK, so that's the uh, title page, right? Uh, but so, still just in the normal view. I don't think we see the your full screen. Oh, so maybe I don't use uh, don't uh, okay use the ordinary one. Um, yeah, this is yeah, this is not visible. Okay, now can you see it? The, yeah. the second yes. page. Okay, maybe I can just use uh, the smaller size one. Okay. Uh, so let me um introduce some ter terminologies first. Um, so a finite family of uh, contractive mappings uh, is called a uh, iterated function system or simply called IFS. Uh, given uh, IFS, uh, there exists a unique non-empty compact set K such that K equal to the union of the images of a K under the mapping of I. Uh, the set K is called the attractor of the IFS. When all the mappings of I are similarity maps, we call K is a surfer, surfer similar set. And when all of I are affine maps, we call K to be surfer affine. So in this talk, we will focus on the self-affine case. Uh, here is uh, some pictures of uh, uh, self-similar or self-affine sets. Uh, now we give uh, more preliminaries. Um, given an uh, IFS FI, uh, we can introduce uh, induce a natural coding map called pi from the symbolic space to RD. Well, pi x uh, equal to uh, the limit of the composition of uh, fx1 uh, with fx2 uh, and so on, composite with fxn at zero. Um, so this limit always exists um, since uh, our mapping are uh, contracting. For a given Borel set on the symbolic space and a probability measure on the symbolic space, we can use uh, pi e and pi mu to denote the projections and the pi. Um, it's well known that uh, the, the, the uh, projection of the whole symbolic space equal to the tractor of the IFS. Uh, 
when mu is a, a noon product measure on the symbolic space generated by um, a weight P1, P2 uh, to PM, then the projection is uh, called surface fine. It's the only Borel measure on K which satisfy uh, the relation eta equal to PI times eta composite with FI inverse. Um, here, we are going to uh, introduce some notions of the fractal dimension. Uh, for such, we are going to consider Hausdorff packing lower and up a box counting dimensions. Uh, for measures, uh, I don't know why there is something. No. Um, for measures, we will consider uh, the lower and the up local dimensions, no. uh, which are, are defined uh, in the following way. Sorry, uh, can you see this, uh, this uh, black region here? Am I audible? Am I audible? Hello? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, maybe you can drag it away. Maybe a possibility when it appears, just drag the uh, yeah, just uh, info box. Uh, I don't know why there is some something. Uh, so maybe, oh, no, no, no. Hello, I just, I just want to, hello, am I audible? Yeah, hello. So just click. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, now that's great. Yeah, now seems better, okay. <laughs> uh, so for measures, we can use, we can consider the lower and up local dimensions. Um, if uh, the lower and the upper one coincide, then the common value is called the local dimensions of a mu. Um, I don't know why this uh, appear, okay. Um, for measure mu, we can also define uh, the Hausdorff dimension and the packing dimension by considering, uh, considering the essential inf or essential suit uh, of the local dimensions. Um, in particular, if uh, the local dimension of a measure mu equal to a constant for almost all point, then we call this measure uh, exactly dimensional. Um, um, Dew is a, uh, exactly dimensional if and only if that um, the lower host of dimension is uh, equal to its uh, up packing dimension. Here we still need to introduce uh, the notion of uh, um, singular value functions. Um, for a linear map T uh, defined on R2, uh, that alpha one uh, and alpha two to be the singular value of a T. Uh, so here you will see that uh, and uh, the mapping of a T, a unit ball becomes a lipsoid. Uh, so here alpha one and alpha two are simply the same axis length of a T. Uh, then we can define the singular uh, value function uh, phi s such that when s uh, take a value between zero and one, phi s t equal to alpha one to the s. And if s between one and two, then phi s equal to alpha one times alpha two to the s minus one. If s greater than two, then phi s equal to alpha one times alpha two to the s over two power. Um, that the single function can be also uh, defined for any mapping uh, on Rd, okay, uh, in the usual, uh, in the uh, following way. Um, 
So then we still need the notion of the singularity dimension. Uh, using uh, the singular value function, we can define a measure, a net measure M to the S, which is uh, defined in a way similar to uh, the definition of a S dimensional Hausdorff measure. Um, so in a part of the uh, uh, diameter to the S power, uh, we can change it to uh, replace it to the singularity function phi STI. Um, then uh, the singularity dimension of a subset uh, E of a symbolic space is defined as a supremum of a S greater or equal to zero, where MS E equal to infinity. Also, it's equal to the infimum of a S such that M S E less than infinity. Um, for a, a Gordic measure mu on a symbolic space, uh, we can define the Lyapunov dimension uh, of mu, which is equal to the unique uh, value S such that the following formula holds well H mu sigma stands for the measure theoretical entropy of a mu. And the second part is the Lyapunov exponents generated by the singular function phi s. Now we're ready to state uh, the known dimensional result for typical self-affine sets and measures. Um, let T1 T2 up to Tn be a tube of a invertible contracting linear maps from Rd to Rd. And we also suppose that the norm of each map Ti is less than one over half, uh, one over two. Um, for a translational vector A, uh, we let a pi A to denote the coding map associated with the IFS TIX plus AI. Here, the linear part are given by the uh, linear maps TI, and here AI are the translational part. So this is uh, one uh, entry in, 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 in the uh, vector EA. Um, in his uh, celebrate work, Farconet proved that for almost all translation vector A, uh, the Hausdorff dimension and the box counting dimension of the attractor of the affine IFS um, is uh, equal to the minimum value between D and the singularity dimension of the whole symbolic space. Um, and uh, actually, uh, Falconi proved it uh, and the a stronger assumption on the norm that uh, norm ti less than one third, uh, then Sonomiak at 1998 uh, proved that uh, this condition can be relaxed to uh, the norm of ti less than one half. Um, after this work, uh, Kenneth of uh, uh, Kamaki at 2004. Uh, proof that there exists a, a Gordic measure on the symbolic space, such that uh, the projection of this measure uh, on the attractor is uh, exactly dimensional with uh, the dimension simply given by uh, the dimension of the attractor. Uh, Nate, Jordan, Ponycord, and Simon. Uh, further proof uh, that for each ergodic measure on a symbolic space, uh, the push forward measure pi a mu has a Hausdorff dimension given by uh, the minimum value d and the Lyapunov uh, dimension of a mu. Um, at the 2010, Kamake and uh, uh, his student proved that uh, for any 
compact invariant set E, uh, the dimension, the host of dimension and the box counting dimension of the projection of E and the pi A uh, coincide and uh, is uh, equal to the minimum value between D and the singularity dimension of E. Um, and furthermore, uh, Yavenpa et al. Uh, at 2014 further proved that the Hausdorff dimension of uh, the projection of any compact set is uh, given by the minimum value uh, between D and the, its singularity dimension. Uh, now, uh, we wouldn't like to consider um, the following question. Suppose E is an arbitrary Borel subset of the subvonic space and mu uh, arbitrary Borel probability measure on the subvonic space, whether or not the various fractal dimensions of uh, the projections of E and the projection of a mu and the pi A uh, constant for almost all A. And furthermore, if, if it's so, what are the dimension formulas? Uh, the second question is uh, whether or not one can find a necessary and sufficient condition for the projection of a measure mu uh, is uh, exactly dimensional for almost all A. Okay, that's uh, our main target. Um, and uh, our answer is uh, yes. Uh, so now uh, let's uh, give our result. Um, so our first result is for uh, the dimension of the projected sets. So under the normal assumption, Ti uh, has a normal less than one half um, for any given uh, Borel subset E of the symbolic space, uh, we can show that for almost all A, uh, the host of dimension of the projection uh, of E equal to the minimum value D and the singularity dimension of E. Also, the packing dimension and up box counting dimension lower box counting dimension are all equal to uh, some constants, which uh, only depends on E and the um, matrices T1 to Tm. Uh, if time allows, I will present the formulas of uh, um, such a constant. So next up, uh, we introduce our result on uh, the dimension of the projected measures. Now, let mu be a Borel probability measure on the symbolic space. Um, for any point in the symbolic space, sigma and n uh, an integer, we can define Sn mu s x to be the unique number t. Uh, such that uh, phi t uh, at tx1 up to txn, this part denote the product of the uh, matrices uh, tx i up to txn, which equal to the measure of the mu at the cylinder x1 to xn. Then we can define as mu x as the uh, limit inch of the uh, Sn ux when uh, n tends to infinity. Um, we also need uh, another um, definition. For two point on the symbolic space x, y, let x verge y denote the common part of x and y. Uh, following Jordan Ponticot and Simon, we can define a function Gx with y 
uh, from zero to infinity to zero one by such a formula, um, which are actually uh, this um, uh, ZXYR uh, simply represent uh, uh, the, the, the volume of the unit ball intersect with uh, um, TX with Y inverse BR. Here BR is uh, the ball uh, with the radius R centered at the origin. Then we can uh, define the integration of uh, this uh, function ZX, YR with respect to Y, we get uh, G mu XR. And then we uh, consider uh, the limit of uh, log G mu XR over log R as R tends to zero, take the limit suit. We get D mu X. Then with uh, these uh, definitions, we can present our result. So still suppose uh, Ti has a norm less than one half, then for almost all uh, translation vectors A, uh, the lower local dimension of uh, uh, pi A mu at pi A x is uh, given by the minimum value of the S mu x and the D uh, for mu almost or point x. Uh, similarly, for the up local dimension of the pi a mu uh, at pi x is equal to d mu x. So for mu almost or x. Um, then use this result, we can get uh, uh, the expression of uh, the Hausdorff dimension and the packing dimension of the uh, pi a mu. Um, you can see that one of uh, formulas uh, are independent of the, the translation vector A and only depends on S mu X and D mu X. Um, using the previous result, we can give a necessary and a sufficient condition uh, for a pi A mu to be exact the dimensional. Um, indeed, you can see that for uh, arbitrarily or real probability measure on the symbolic space, uh, pi A mu is uh, exactly dimensional for almost all A if and only if uh, that uh, uh, the minimum value of the essential inf of the S mu X and the D equal to the essential suit D mu X. So this is a, a formal condition, uh, but in practice, it's uh, quite hard for us to estimate the essential suit of a D mu X because the D mu X uh, uh, is uh, defined uh, by taking the integration with the kernel CXY, which is quite hard to estimate. However, if we assume uh, all TI, the, the, the linear part of the mapping, are uh, scalar multiples of uh, orthogonal matrices, then we can uh, simply use uh, um, the behavior of uh, SMUX to uh, give a necessary and sufficient condition of the exact dimensionality of a pi a mu. Uh, that is, uh, if and only if that either the limit inf of S and mu x greater or equal to d for all, for mu almost all x, or there exists uh, a value s between zero and d such that uh, the limit of S and mu x equal to S. Here notice that this is uh, only the limit, not limit inf. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so that's the necessary and the sufficient condition uh, when Ti 
are uh, scalar multiples of the orthogonal matrices. <coughs> uh, in the general self applying setting, uh, we can still get some result. Um, <coughs> if S is a value in zero and D, but as uh, not integer, then uh, <coughs> high A mu is the exact dimensional with dimension S for almost all A if and only if that S and mu X has a limit S for mu almost every point. Um, <coughs> also, um, high A mu is a exact dimensional with dimension D for almost all A, if and only if that the limit inf of S and U X greater or equal to D for U almost or point X. Um, it's, a, <clears throat> it's a very, um, yeah, it, 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 it should be pointed out that uh, the above result does not hold when S is an integer between one and D minus one. That means we can find some counter example to show that um, we can find some uh, measure mu such that it's uh, exactly dimensional with uh, some integer dimension between one and D minus one. However, the right hand side does not hold. Okay, uh, the limit of S and mu X uh, not equal to S. Okay, um, so that's a quite a strange. Um, now we can uh, give the formulas for the packing and box counting dimensions of the projected sets. Uh, for a given compact set E, and R greater than zero, we can follow the idea of a, a far corner at 2021, or we can define the R capacity of a E uh, by uh, using this uh, um, capacity uh, formula. Here, G, X, Y, R is a special kernel. We take an integration, um, double integration with respect to X and Y over all uh, for a probability measures supported on E and then take uh, the reciprocal. Um, here CIE is called R capacity of E. Then we can define the so-called uh, capacity dimension, up capacity dimension and the lower capacity dimension uh, in this way. And then we can express the uh, packing dimension of the projection of uh, set E, which is equal to um, the supremum of the uh, packing dimension of the measure mu, where mu is supported on um, the, the set E. And similarly, uh, the, the, the Box counting dimensions of the pair AE is equal to uh, the, the lower and the up um, capacity dimensions. Um, now we can still have time to see something. Uh, first, our result extend the existing result on typical self affine sets and measures. And also, our result. Uh, analogous to uh, the projection theorems for the Hausdorff packing and box counting dimensions and orthogonal projections. Um, okay, here I wouldn't like to uh, skip um, this part. So um, finally, I will uh, spend two minutes to explain the rough ideas 
of our proof for the local dimensions of a projected meshes. Uh, first is the lower bound. So the lower bound of a local dimensions of meshes uh, is proved by using some potential theoretical arguments. Um, actually for the lower local dimension, uh, our argument is uh, simply a variant of the arguments of the uh, Falcone 1988 and uh, Kanoshi, hand conversion argument in 1997. Uh, for the up local dimension, we adapt the argument of the uh, Falcone Harroid uh, for packing dimension plural files together with the uh, the following self-affine transversality property established by Jordan, Honeycord, and Simon at 2007. Uh, well, they proved uh, that um, for a given row, consider a ball with a radius row, then uh, the parameters A such as that pi AX minus pi AY next to or equal to R, is bounded by a constant C, which depends on rho times the kernel C X word Y R. Um, for the upper bound of uh, local dimensions of measures, uh, we need to use uh, some geometric numbers. Um, for the lower, uh, lower local dimensions, we need to use a result found by Jordan. Uh, roughly speaking, he he um, he can use a singularity uh, values of uh, uh, matrices to give a, a lower bound estimate for um, uh, the 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 measure pi a mu. Um, at a ball um, centered at a pi x uh, with uh, some radius given by alpha k plus one tx n, which is the k plus one's uh, uh, singular value of a tx uh, n. Okay, um, so this is a uh, one uh, result. Uh, however, for, for the up local dimension, we needed to use another geometric number. Um, so uh, also we can use uh, this uh, uh, kernel C uh, and also um, use this C and uh, uh, mu such that uh, we can give a lower bound of a mu A. Uh, so this should be pi A mu um, at a ball. Um, of a pair X with uh, some uh, some um, radius gamma to the n, um, but the result should hold uh, hold for all n and all l. Okay, uh, when n is not enough. Okay, um, so this is some some uh, technique uh, numbers we need to use to prove the upper bound. Okay, maybe I can still say something about uh, uh, the related problems. Um, <clears throat> so um, even we can show that uh, the host of dimension and the, the box counting dimension and the was a packing dimension of the projected sets uh, are constants. Um, but it's not so easy for us to find the uh, um, a very easily checked uh, necessary and sufficient condition for uh, a set E so that uh, this uh, house of dimension and the packing dimension and the box counting dimension uh, will coincide. So that's a one problem. Uh, another problem is uh, the continuity problem uh, of a singularity dimension. Uh, so we would like to know that 
for given E, uh, whether or not the singularity dimension continuously depend on the linear parts Ti. Uh, we only know that if T is a subshift of a finite type, then uh, indeed this um, uh, singular, singularity dimension um, continuously depend on the linear part uh, that uh, was proved by Hubbard's backing and myself. Okay, another question is about uh, the various dimension of the fibers of the coding maps. Um, yeah, we, we um, haven't uh, do this uh, job. Uh, and I think this is a still deserve to be further investigated. Okay, I will stop here. Thank you very much for listening.